Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for, what is it, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday, May 2nd. Daily vibes. What do we have for Wednesday, May 2nd? For energy. Wednesday, May 2nd. Ooh, somebody's making a conscious change to let something go. Change is happening. Release. Somebody is bringing some balance back to their lives. Yeah, moving on, moving, moving on, moving forward. Heading towards peace. I've, I've woken up. I see the truth, I hear the truth, I know the truth, and I'm moving away from this situation. Releasing these burdens and this baggage. Accepting this change, answering the call, restoring my faith, believing in myself. Somebody is following their own path. They have clear intentions, listening to their inner guide. Starting a new spiritual journey. that absolutely so let me make sure this is zoomed in looks pretty good well we certainly have a lot of players here <laughs> Taurus Virgo Capricorn Pisces Cancer Scorpio Libra Gemini Aquarius Taurus Gemini <laughs> interesting okay so it feels like somebody is being open to, to a new path. Somebody is, is really being objective to what's, to what's to come. I mean, being open to what's to come making the conscious change that they need to let something new into their lives. Releasing the past. I mean, that's what judgment is about. Releasing the past could be a water sign or moving away from an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe they're letting in a, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Could go either way. It doesn't really matter, the signs. I'm just giving you some scenarios here. This is, this is fire energy, so we do have all the signs here. Somebody is headed towards a commitment after a breakup with somebody that, that they were incompatible with. There was a sense of incompatibility with another person. There was incompatibility. There was too many conflicts. And I feel like now someone is headed in a new direction. They've decided to accept this change, make this change, look at things through different eyes from a new perspective, and no longer hold on to something that is stale, or cold and withdrawn. They've been in a situation where there was, a, there was some sort of well, it could have been jealousy, possessiveness, um, lack of communication, uh, emotional emotional blackmail, 
detachment. Somebody is moving out of this situation where there was, there was just too much incompatibility. They're, they're hearing the truth. They're seeing the, seeing the truth. They're listening to their inner guide and they're moving out of it. I'm going to release this because I know deep down inside of me that this doesn't serve me. It's time for me to do the right thing for me. I have to. I have to. I have to take the lead here. I have to cut somebody out of my life so that I can get what I deserve. Somebody has got some sort of epiphany that allows them to release the past, whatever the past is, whoever the past is, and make this conscious change that makes them feel free. They now are starting to believe in themselves again. Maybe somebody has decided that it's no longer just about the financial stability. It's about happiness, right? I'm not, I can't stay in a situation that is just financially stable, but there's no communication. You know, I've decided that, no, that's not going to serve me anymore. I need to go find what, what is meant for me. Something is over. It's been too depressing. It's caused too much anxiety and sleepless nights. And somebody's been stalling because they've been afraid of change. And now they are truly being called to look at things from a new perspective. There's an end of a contract here that leads to a new commitment. And that's what's going on. Somebody is releasing one contract. And bringing in something more meant for them. Something's over. Something is absolutely over. Okay. It was, it was too depressive. So somebody's decided to move away from it. I'm done. I'm not. I, I see the truth. I hear the truth. There is too much criticism, unfair treatment, you could have been dealing with a bully, somebody that was only using you, and you know, you can only delay it for so long. The, the lies have been exposed. The truth has been exposed. Somebody has exposed the truth. And you can't deny it anymore. Somebody has been holding on to the anxiety and resentment for too long. And I think they've had this epiphany that I don't need to hold on to this anymore. I'm going to find that faith and trust within myself to believe in myself to move out of this situation because it was just driven by addictions, obsessions, lust, control, and manipulation. Somebody is freeing themselves from a manipulative contract. I hear manipulative contract. In which they've been stalling from freeing themselves from it. Because they didn't believe in themselves, but now they do. Now they see the truth clearly. The truth has been exposed. The lies have been exposed. And they're letting it end. So I think today is a day of freeing yourself from a toxic situation. Believing in yourself. There was a toxic contract that is no longer feasible. 
and somebody is now seeing things through, you know, different lenses. I see the truth, I hear the truth, I believe the truth, I know the truth within me. The truth has been revealed, and I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm releasing it. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. And this is exactly what's going on. Somebody is releasing something so that they can give their new relationship a chance. Or their current relationship. This could even be a grudge for all we know. Something, Somebody is making a conscious change as some truth is revealed. To release something so that they can move forward from a toxic situation. There's a breakup here as well. Somebody is breaking up, leaving somebody behind. They are ending a contract completely. And there could even be some legal issues ending this contract. Somebody is ending a contract. Not everybody is, but somebody is. And I think that they're ending this contract so that they can give the next relationship that they are in a fighting chance. Then somebody is being called to work on their partnership if they want it to last. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You know who this is. Don't second guess yourself. You know who this is. Your inner guide is telling you. Why would you hold on to somebody where there's not enough attraction and chemistry? When there's an opportunity to have a relationship with somebody that is better suited for you. I feel like somebody is releasing somebody that is toxic so that they can find the relationship and partnership that they deserve. That's what it looks like to me. Talk to you later.